Hi, I'm Lauren Casala, Investment Planning Editor at The Motley Fool. Buying a car is expensive these days, but with the promise of lower monthly payments, is leasing your next vehicle a smart move? Here to discuss this question is longtime Fool contributor and personal finance expert, Dan Kaplinger. Hi, Dan. Hi, Lauren. So, Dan, tell us how leasing a car works. Well, basically, the way that a lease works and how it's different from actually buying a car outright is you make monthly payments, but the monthly payments tend to be lower. And the reason is this. At the end of the lease term, you commit to giving the car back to the dealer that you got it from. Now, it's really easy to find lease deals these days. American car makers are pretty famous for offering leases with General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler often offering incentives to help people make car leases. In addition, Japanese automakers Honda and Toyota have jumped onto the bandwagon as well. And in fact, even the new car maker Tesla with its electric vehicles has tried to make a similar arrangement that allows buyers to sell their car back to the dealers after a certain period, which closely resembles a lease. What are the pros and cons of leasing? Well, one of the benefits of leasing is that it's really very simple. At the end of the term, you give the car back. You don't have to worry about finding a new buyer for it if you want a new car. You don't have to worry about anything. The dealer takes care of everything for you. But the problem is that leases often have extra charges involved. You only get a certain amount of mileage. So if you drive more than that amount, then you'll end up having to pay more above the monthly payment. Similarly, if you don't take good care of your car, you could owe maintenance payments at the end as well. And so it's not necessarily cut and dried whether leasing is a good deal at the end of the day. And what's the key to making a smart decision about leasing? You know, really what it comes down to for most people is convenience. Really, cost is only a secondary con factor because, like I said, those fees can often add up. But if the convenience of just being able to give that car back at the end of the term is worth it, then leasing is something you're going to want to take a close look at. Thanks for that advice, Dan. And if you're interested in more guidance on how to manage your personal finances, be sure to stay tuned to The Motley Fool.